book claimed by Colm Tobin is the story of Eilish Lacey who leaves her small town of Enniscorthy in County Wexford in Ireland to move to Brooklyn, New York. And it has recently been made into a film which is amazing with a wonderful screenplay by Nick Hornby. Eilish works in a shop for the horrible Mrs Kelly and it becomes very clear that there are limited opportunities in Ireland at that time. So it is decided really by her family first and particularly by her sister Rose and a priest called Father Flood that Eilish will leave. Brooklyn is set in the 1950s when so many men and women left Ireland to go and make a new life in America. People used to call the day before people left an American wake because so many people who left wouldn't return. The novel is a story of immigration, it's a story of national identity, it's a story of where we fit into our surroundings and where do we call our home. What I always find really interesting about Tobin as a writer and actually why I'm always drawn back to him is the fact that he deals with these massive topics but he kind of steps away from those big events and goes really straight into the personal. So Tobin is interested in the immigration narratives, but he's more interested in what was the weather like that day? When did Eilish cross the road? How did it feel that she was on a different kind of street in New York than she was in Ireland? And I think Tobin's response in his writing is what makes Brooklyn such a relatable novel. In that when really big things happen to us, we do remember them as these huge, life-changing events, but we also remember those really small, minute details that only really matter to us. For instance, in Tobin's examination of homesickness through the character of Eilish, he draws attention to the fact that it's not really these big concepts of being Irish versus being American, it's the fact that Eilish misses Friary Street. What Eilish misses is her own room, the house in Friary Street, the food she had eaten there, the clothes she wore, how quiet everything was. The rooms in the house on Friary Street belonged to her, she thought. When she moved in them, she was really there. In the town, if she walked to the shop or to the vocational school, the air, the light, the ground, it was all solid and part of her even if she met no one familiar. That feeling of homesickness that Tobin just perfectly describes in this novel as being something that you can't quite understand or you can't quite put your finger on it all the time is just so relatable. There's a wonderful scene in the film which actually is in the book but it's worded slightly differently and I don't actually know the wording so I'll get it wrong. It's the bit where Father Flood sits down with Eilish and says homesickness is horrible but then one day it will go on to someone else and it will just pass. I don't think up until reading Brooklyn I'd actually have read anything or seen anything that really dealt with homesickness. It is this thing that so many of us experience but we keep hidden. What's also really interesting about Colin Tobin's writing linking in with the kind of the things that we keep hidden is how he deals with silence and things that are left unsaid and how he highlights that the things that aren't said when characters don't speak they're often the most important things which I find a really powerful and moving thing and that was something I really appreciated about the adaptation was because there's a lot of moments of silence in this film where the camera is just focused on Saoirse Ronan's face just experiencing and just feeling. This novel is ultimately about choosing between two very different lives. The conflict over where you belong, your homeland, where your family are, where you're familiar with, and a new land of hope and excitement, but also unfamiliarity and uncertainty because of that. So the novel is about those big concepts of immigration and national identity, um, but it's also about the very personal relationship with your family, with your hometown. Brooklyn is understated, it packs in these huge emotions but allows the reader to feel rather than just being told what to feel. The relationships between sisters and the sacrifices that are made in families is really key in the novel.
The adaptation with the screenplay by Nick Hornby is undoubtedly one of the best adaptations I've ever seen. It's emotionally powerful and also very, very funny. It's got Julie Walters in, it can't not be funny. I've read and watched a couple of interviews with Colin Tobin about the film and there's quite a few moments where he can't actually remember if a scene is from the book or was in the film because he thinks it's that great. And if a writer feels that way about an adaptation, you just know how perfect it is. 